Some progress has been made in the Jakarta Deputy Governor Saga, as the city administration submitted a letter to the Jakarta Council on Monday concerning two names proposed to fill the position. City Council Secretary Muhammad Yuliadi told the Jakarta Post on Monday that he had received the letter at around 8 a.m. I received the letter at 8 a.m. Directly delivered by Jakarta Regional Head and Foreign Cooperation Bureau Chief Nawadi, he said. Yuliadi went on to say that he had informed Jakarta Council Speaker Prasesho Edi Masudi about the letter. The Council Speaker will talk with the Council's consultative body about the Code of Conduct and to arrange a plenary meeting to appoint one of the two candidates. After several delays and a prolonged tug of war, the two political parties that backed Jakarta Governor Enis Baswedan and his deputy Sandy Garuno during the 2017 gubernatorial election, the Garindra Party and the Prosperous Justice Party PKS, submitted the two names as recommendations to the governor on Friday. The two names are Agung Yulianto, 49, currently serving as PKS Jakarta Secretary and Ahmed Siaiku, 54, now PKS West Java Head. Both nominated by the PKS, the back and forth on the issue was a result of Garindra wanting the position, which it believed should have been reserved for one of its members. Santiago was a member of Garindra, while Enes is non-partisan. The PKS, however, insisted that the post be given to one of its members as Garindra decided to pair its leader Prabowo Subianto with Sandiaga and not a PKS leader for the presidential election. The post has been vacant since August last year following the resignation of Sandiaga.